Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about form customization. So, so far our application is completed, but I just want to provide some more touches. Now, first of all, I have to tell you that within the meetings folder, I have created this form.py. If you go ahead and if you try to click it open, I've provided this, this text beforehand, the, this code. Now in here, I'm going to implement, I'm going to explain um, just like some parts of it because this is like, this tend to become a little bit advanced. That's why I'm not going to get into, I'm not going to get deep into it. What actually I'm trying to do is I'm trying to provide more validation to our input fields. So whenever a malicious user tries to enter bad data into our database, I will have I will have stopped them before they can do it. So we here we have imported some stuff from Django and also from the models we have imported the meeting. We have created a meeting form and the reason that this is a meeting form, I'm, I'm gonna tell you in two minutes why it is meeting form. And then we are going to grab the model form from Django that we have. So first we have created a class of meta and the model that we have is going to be set to meeting. The reason that it is meeting is the form actually belongs to meeting. And whenever we set the fields to all, it means that we have selected all the fields as we have seen in the form. Uh, in the form we have, if I go to form meeting slash meeting uh, form, the reason that the fields is all is because from the model class, from the meeting model class, we have selected all the fields. So this is basically what it means. Widgets, this is the advanced part. Uh, in here, what we've done is we have selected the column names and we have specified what their type is. So date input, time input, and text input, what the user can enter. And we have provided them with, a, with some attributes. Now the attribute type for date is gonna be date, for time is gonna be time this is the start time for duration it's going to be a number but the duration can only be between one hour to four hours so you can increase this or you can decrease it it really depends on your choice the widgets dictionary it provides us with um, some uh, it's it provides us with a way of control over the form of uh, in the form of what exactly it is that we want what kind of HTML input Django will show in the form. All right, so this is the whole idea behind this widgets. And then we have a custom function that is going to, uh, uh, that, that is going to make sure that the user passes uh, is in here, is not going to be a pass date. So I have grabbed, I've said, I've said the name of this function as the clean date. And here we have a D. This is going to refer to the date that we get from the user. So we just want to make sure that the user, whenever selects a date, it's not in the past. So meetings cannot be held in the past. And we are going to uh, throw a validation error. It's going to say meetings cannot be in the past, cannot be held in the past. Just something like that. Now, this is a standalone file. The way that we can integrate it with our views.py file is uh, we are going to go ahead. I'm going to get rid of this meeting form. I'm going to get rid of that. Now, the meeting form is not defined, so we need to define it here. So I'm going to mm, get rid of this model factory as, as well. So I'm going to say from dot forms import the meeting form. That is why the name of a meeting from meeting form. That is why the name of this um, form, this class, is meeting form. So we do we are not um, where we are not forced to change the name so many times. So it is meeting form from forms. Oh, the name is form. Sorry. All right, there we go. So again, the name of the class, I've specified it as, as where is it, as meeting form, just to make sure that I do not show you any more changes within the views.py file. So you just have to uh, remove that import that we had and remove the meeting form, and you just have to import this one. All the code is going to come here and everything is going to work perfectly fine. So I'm gonna 
save the changes. You're going to come into our form. So I'm going to say CSRF. We know the rest of them work. Uh, let me just refresh the page. And there we go. So uh, here, here we have also what we have done is where is the uh, input that we have provided here? It is this one. This is the one that I'm talking about. So whenever we say date input, what it also allows us to do is we can have this uh, sort of graphical interface that is going to allow us to select different dates. So you can go to different years. So let's say November 2024. 28th and now it is going to make sure that this date is correct but what if I go to for example today or go back let's say to February 2021 if I say 11th February 2021 and the duration is one it's it cannot be I'm gonna zoom in it cannot be less than one and it cannot be greater than four and let's select a room and let's select CSR ref if I say create we are going to see an error it says meetings cannot be held in the past this is the custom function that we created right here so this custom function just shows you that there is still literally a ton that you can do in this application to make to, to make sure that it, it is getting more better and better and better and it is going to get more perfect i don't i'm not sure if that is even a word more perfect so the only other thing that i want to do in this lecture is i'm just going to let zoom out is whenever we go to the forms list i want to provide um uh, i want to provide a link so we can go to the forms uh, to the form list and that link will be provided to the will be provided to the home page so let's go into vs code where is the well, uh, home.html? Within home.html, let's just create another anchor, anchor element uh, with URL tag. So in here, I'm going to say URL. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what is the name of that URL mapping that we have provided to our form? So where can we find it? It is right here. What is the name? The name is simply form. So let me just copy that, put it right here. What is what is the content of the anchor element going to say? It is going to say plan a new meeting. This is as far as the users can go. Save that. Let's come in here. Refresh the page. There we go. So when the user clicks on plan a new meeting, the user will be redirected to this form where they can fill out the form. For example, CSRF on, let's say, 2025, this date. Um, and it's going to take four hours on and the room is going to be cosmic hot when they say create they will be redirected to the home page where they can see that their form has been uh, submitted successfully and the meeting has been added successfully there we go csrf click on it on october 30th uh 2025 9 a.m cosmic hut room 53 floor 15. That this is going to be it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we are actually done with the entire function functionality of this project. But in the next lecture, I'm going to style this project right from the uh, ground up. Styling is going to be easy, very much easy for us because we are uh, we have done it so much before. And uh, I'm not going to provide different lectures for different pages of this application. Uh, I, I'm going to style this entire application in one lecture in one go and it doesn't really matter to me how many minutes it is going to take i'm just trying to uh, preserve uh, uh, lectures for further chapters and further sections because um, um i do have a limit of how many lectures i can add so i need to be like a little bit conservative when it comes to adding lectures so that is it for this uh, lecture see you in the next one